competing with all cash offers. That's what I'm talking about today, and I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today, I'm gonna to be discussing competing with all cash offers. Right now, it is a crazy time here in Las Vegas real estate, and the market is hot, and quite a few of my clients have had, um, unfortunately, had to compete with all cash offers. Um, so, the point of this video is to kind of just give you tips of what to expect when you have to compete with someone that's throwing all cash, because they always say cash is king. But not every time when someone submits a cash offer, it's a good offer. Buying a home is not easy, and it's even more difficult when you're competing with all cash buyers or in a multiple offer situation. So the point of this video is to give you tips on what to do when you have to compete with an all cash buyer. In today's hot market, bidding wars are the norm with many uh, out-of-state buyers coming to town and investors wanting to invest here in the valley, having all cash offers is not that uncommon. So many times these cash offers tend to be a lot lower than what the asking price is. So my goal is to show you what we can do if you are competing with someone that's offering all cash. And the first thing you need to do is make sure that you're pre-approved 100% through your financial institution, your lender, whatever it may be. Make sure all your documents are at your lender, like your W-2s, your prior income tax, your bank statements, whatever it is that your lender needs to make sure that you're 100% pre-approved. Not pre-qualified, there's a difference between the two. Pre-qualified means that basically the lender just gets your credit score and gets some basic information from you, but doesn't have the actual documents to verify that you make that income. So it's very important that you are pre-approved 100%. Next, you wanna work with a lender that's fast moving. A lot of lenders, sometimes if you're not familiar with them, or if you use Quicken Loans or an out-of-state lender that even though they are licensed in Nevada, may not be too familiar with the workarounds here in um, the laws here in Nevada, it would behoove you to get a lender that knows how to work fast and can close accordingly. Maybe close in three weeks instead of 30 days. Um, I know a few lenders I can refer to that are very fast and awesome. So that's another thing is a lender that works fast. And you may want to offer the earnest money deposit to be a lot bigger than what they're asking. For example, they may be asking $5,000 down as an earnest money deposit. However, maybe if you have the cash on hand, offer $10,000 down to secure that home and let the sellers know that you're serious about this property. Um, and the earnest money deposit, if you're new to buying, basically what that does is gets applied towards either your down payment or your closing costs. So it's not going to be money lost, it's just going to eventually be put down as down payment. Make an appropriate offer. Right now the market's hot, so there's no way we should be offering 10 k below asking price or for the seller to pay for your closing costs, especially if the home has only been on the market for one or two days, it already has multiple offers, you want your offer to be clean, meaning asking price or above asking price and have the seller pay none of your concessions. Do not ask for your closing costs. That's just one way to have a very strong offer. And that's it. I mean, it's a very short video. Um, I've seen this time and time again, especially these last couple of months. Um, my buyers have been competing a lot with multiple offers and cash buyers. And some of them have gotten bid out. Um, because they didn't listen to my advice. The most important thing is be ready, be pre-approved, have the funds available, and don't ask for any concessions. That's the most important thing. If you really, really want that house, then you need to be willing to pay for that house. Tough times ahead, and I know with everything going on right now, um, but there's a lot of people that wanna move out of their current states to relocate to Nevada because of all the amenities we have, no state income tax, our property taxes are a lot lower, so we have a lot of competition going on. If you're planning to buy a home soon, 
I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below, or you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. As always, if you like this video, be sure to, you know, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything that this awesome Las Vegas Valley has to offer. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you guys on the next one.